हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर संदीप वालिया हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट यूनिवर्सिटी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टूरिज्म एंड हॉस्पिटैलिटी मैनेजमेंट चंडीगढ़ यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द मॉड्यूल टाइप्स ऑफ एयरलाइन टिकट्स मैनुअल टिकट ऑटोमेटिक टिकट और ई टिकट अंडर द पेपर एविएशन इंडस्ट्री टिकटिंग एंड फ्रंटियर फॉर्मेलिटीज आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस मॉड्यूल द स्टूडेंट्स will be able to understand about the airline tickets they will also learn about the different types of airline tickets they will understand the concept of e tickets they will also understand about the class and tickets in airlines the students will know about the reservation procedure of the airlines in simple words ticket is a piece of paper or card that makes eligible somebody to enter a place traveling by using the public transport or use for the participation in any event etc to get the benefits of the tickets it has to buy by the customers and he is entitled for the specific services like meals priority check-ins etc in the tourism industry a ticketing plays a very important role because due to easy availability of the tickets and most of the travelers travels by air with many reasons like availability of cheaper tickets easy availability anybody can book the tickets just go to websites of the travel agencies or companies tourism industry is one of the fastest growing industries in the world and it has transferred its huge burden on world ticket and ticketing itself being growing industry it is encouraging the people to travel at global level and many passengers would like to travel due to availability of the cheap airlines now these days and adding the new features of booking day by day by the companies airline ticket refers to printed document issued by travel agent or airport travel desk which make eligible the passenger to occupy the seat in the aeroplane there are three main types of air tickets which are issued to the passenger like an automatically copied ticket an automatic coupon ticket with a boarding pass and manual form later in this regard international air transport association has made a rule that the ticket whoever travel agent is issuing but it should be easily understandable by any other agent across the world therefore each ticket contains the information includes the name of the flight route type fare type and prints imposed by the airlines the detailed information of the ticket is stored under the unique code called the pnr code in the aviation and travel industry a passenger name record which is called pnr is a unique code given so that all the information is stored under the name of the pnr which is generally stored in the database of a computer reservation system the computer reservation system contains the detailed itinerary of a traveler or a group of travelers which are traveling with common goals and interests together the objective behind to introduce the concept of pnr by airlines to exchange the reservation information in case the travelers required to change the multiple flights on the journeys the internet has a notable effect on the aviation industry today an internet booking engine has made a great impact on the travel and tourism industry an application especially supporting its reservation system by using the internet these engines also provides the additional recent features such as multiple route search fare comparison so that passengers may book the tickets to travel according to their choice the latest information technology and the 
internet has positive impacts and transform the tourism and hospitality industry altogether. It gives the advantages to the customers with a huge amount of travel information regarding the tourism destinations and the various modes of transportation options which are available. It has also helped to create awareness among customers. It has been seen that from the last decade the internet has transformed the tourism and travel business by which all the stakeholders in the industry and of course consumers have also been benefited. Now these days it is possible to collect the information about the tourism destinations along with the travel options and pay visit even at unusual places which used to be the unimaginable in the past. The internet makes easy to search the big deals on travel options offered by the travel companies through their websites. The various travel companies offers the various packages, deals and other marketing promotional methods like cashback, EMIs available and discounts available on the tours. The internet also helps to other supporting industries like accommodation, travel agencies, restaurants and fast food chains, other travel related suppliers becoming them prosperous day by day by encouraging them to sell their products and services through their own websites. Dear students, let us now discuss classification of air ticket. In the simple language or words, air ticket refers to a specific printed document that confirms and gives a short sheet on the aircraft for a particular journey opted by the passenger. These are required to submit at the airline ticket counter to get the boarding pass before boarding to an aeroplane. It has been seen from the previous record that the tickets were prepared on piece of papers and were issued by the travel agencies or airline offices located at the specific locations like airports. With the advancement of the globalizations and the recent expansions on aviation sector, the buying procedure of the air tickets has been tremendously changed and due to the latest technology like internet in the 20th first century, the various online portals of the travel companies are offering the online services to the consumers or tourists to purchase the tickets in a single click. Now, these days, buying an airline ticket has been becoming much easier and simplified by the rigorous use of an online reservation service. It is very easy to compare the prices and the itineraries of the destination routes and perform the bookings very easily using the online booking sites. To book the tickets online, the passenger should only possess the basic knowledge of the internet and should know how to operate the various ticketing portals to get the possible fare for the destinations which he wants to travel. The only thing which a person needs is basic knowledge of internet and simple awareness regards the various ticketing portals in order to get the best possible fares. As in the previous section, it has been discussed that there are main three types of main tickets which are being issued. There are the following major types of ticket formats. The first one is off-premise transitional automated ticket OPTAT. The second one is automated ticket or the boarding pass ATB. The third one is electronic ticket that is e-ticket or ET. The next one is manual or handwritten ticket. From the past two decades, printing of the tickets were not in practice and this task was very expensive and moreover it was also not possible to make and print the tickets while sitting at a single place or from a single printer as well. In this type of the ticket, the details shall be written manually by the booking agent. There are so called manual emergency tickets which shall be issued during any emergency situations like malfunction or breakdown of computer or printer etc. The ticket may be issued by using 
two or four coupons along with the carbon copy so that the detailed information is contained and may be referred when it requires. If the choice of the airlines or flight are less in number then the word void shall be marked on the top of the ticket or the coupon. The same shall be separated from perforation. For the customer and use of the customers, the last coupon shall be given without this coupon ticket shall not be valid to travel. The second one is off premise transitional automated ticket that is paper ticket. The, this type of the ticket is widely sold through the International Air Transport Association. By all the licensed travel agencies, the paper ticket format is in the universal format or document which is issued by airline authorities and passengers. This also issues in four flight coupons. There are the various other details mentioned on the tickets like segment of the journey which shall be shaded brighter in color than other invalid segment of the journey. The brightest portion of the journey shall be taken first according to the itinerary of the travelers. The ticket includes a passenger received coupons, light coupons and the cover which are attached all together with notices and detailed information pertaining to the journey of the passenger. The second one is the automated ticket or the boarding pass which is abbreviated as ATB. It is issued in a single copy with no coupons. With each coupon is imprinted separately. This type of ticket is issued and passenger is having control over a series of cards that print the control, seat assignment, flight and passenger information. It comes along with the valid flight coupons per sector and the passengers receipt. This type of ticket is generally issued by the principal airlines or the carriers. It has mainly two coupons or the portions, the flight coupon and the passenger coupon, which can be used as boarding pass and these are separated by a perforation. The passengers receipts demonstrate the detailed information on the itinerary which shall be retained by the passenger. The third one is electronic ticket or the e-ticket which is abbreviated as ET. This type of ticket is issued in the paper. It is also called the paperless ticket. The information on the ticket is stored electronically in global distribution system and the airline reservation system. The same may be booked by the passenger personally by visiting the travel agencies, websites or company online portals. The ticket shall be issued and shall be sent to the registered email addresses and mobile numbers. The message on the phone received or the email shall be shown to the airline executive at the respective airport along with the identity card or proof. Then after verifying the identity of the traveler, the boarding pass shall be issued per sector separately. In order to issue the e-ticket, it is essential to have database in line with an airline reservation system. This is the system connected to all the airlines affiliated and travel agencies as well. The travelers may visit the websites for online collaborator and they can book the tickets as per choice of destination and type. They are also offered the various methods of payments like credit cards or the internet banking options are also there. After making the appropriate payment to the record of the electronic form regarding e-ticket goes into the database of the airlines. Once after placing the order, the record in electronic form regarding ticket goes into the airlines where the passenger spot lies. The passenger shall be receiving the online confirmation of the ticket and there is no need to print the same. The details of the passengers generally stores in the central reservation system. It reduces the worry of printing the ticket to board into the plane and also avoid any fear of forgetting or losing the same. The passenger has freedom to report at the airport counter to get the boarding pass 
after showing the valid identity proof like pen card departmental identity card passport etc and many others which were issued by the public or private undertakings along with a copy of printed email containing the booking confirmation of the passenger to issue e tickets airlines must have a database that is integrated with an airlines passenger service system that is then connected to all other partners like airlines airport ground transportation and travel agencies for instance to share real time information to book themselves on a flight travelers can visit any number of web based ticketing sites once there they can view the options available and use a credit or a debit card to pay for the ticket after placing the order the electronic record of the ticket goes into the airline's database where it holds the passenger spot the electronic ticket is particularly convenient since it confirms the purchase of a ticket without the need of any printed document the airline with which one travels stores all the details of the ticket in its central system of the reservations this means that the passenger has no need to show a printed ticket in order to get on the plane and no worry about forgetting or losing their ticket having an electronic ticket it allows to go directly to the check in counter holding the passport or identity card and a copy of the email booking which is having confirmation let us now discuss the class of tickets in airlines it has been seen that air fares generally changes according to the various reasons like economic situations or of the specific regions now these days airline companies put all the efforts to attract the customers and offers the various big deals like discounts on festivals and occasions it is very much supported that heavy discounts attracts and motivate the travelers to purchase the ticket airlines try to offer extraordinary deals in order to cling the lowest fa to travelers the low cost airlines have changed the travelers attitude now these days and influenced to the nature of the traveler to visit around the tourism destinations let us now discuss about the different classes and their tickets let us now take first the economy class or the economy seating is cramped and less expensive these types of tickets are generally cheaper and are not having comfortable seats and not the passengers are also not offered any specific meal they shall be placing the order separately if they so require it is also limitation of the several cheaper airlines which do not offer or may don't have the first class seating option or a business available and thus offers only economy class available to the passengers the second one is a first class first class seats are comfortable and spacious the passengers in possession of air tickets are offered to access the most relaxed seats in the specific airlines besides to comfortable or relaxed seats there are other amenities and facilities which are offered to the passenger than cheaper tickets the most advantages of purchasing this type of tickets are very comfortable seats with extra leg space they are also privileged to avail the quality meal services than economy class flyers few of the airlines especially don't serve the alcoholic and non alcoholic beverages to the passengers apart from the large leg space and in flight kitchen quality services they are also have to enjoy the executive services of lounges for using the privileged services of the airlines the customer has to pay more than economy ticket let us now discuss about the child tickets many airlines do charge for any escorted youth or infant they will be nominal charges shall be collected if the child is an infant usually around or less than 2 years in case the child shall not be offered any seat and they will sit on their guardian's lap if a child is more than that of 2 years the guardians have to purchase the ticket for his child though shall be purchased on the discounted price from the airlines The next one is round trip tickets. 
The meaning of round trip refers to the circulation of the trip. The passenger shall start the journey from the specific destination and will come back to the origin of the destination only. The passengers similarly will purchase the tickets as per the round trip. The main advantage of purchasing the round trip tickets is cheaper than a one-way ticket. The various airlines offer discounts on bookings if the passenger shall book their round trip journey from the same airline. The next one is one-way airline tickets. It is just opposite to round trip type ticket. The passenger shall be purchasing the ticket for the onward journey only. The passenger has to buy the another ticket if he wishes to travel at other destinations from the visited destination. This type of air ticket is cheaper than the round ticket. The next is refundable ticket. Refundable tickets are the tickets that makes eligible to the passenger for a refund. The passenger shall not eligible to get any refund if he cancels his trip or do not travel. But he may change his travel date provided that the airlines should have that policy. Generally, different airlines have different rules and regulations regarding the changing of dates of the trips and charges for the same. Non-refundable tickets. The discounted type of tickets are also called non-refundable tickets. The passenger shall not be getting any refund in case of any changes made to the big bookings like unable to travel at the specific dates. The rules regarding transferring the travel date may vary from one airline to another airline and reissue fee or penalty may also apply. Dear students, let us now discuss the reservation procedure. The word reservation in the travel industry is used for blocking of the seats or accommodation in the hotels without completing the process of buying actually. In the airline industry, it refers to block the seats on a request of the passenger while reservations process the reservationist need the details of the passenger like the name of the passenger, age and destination, date and time of travel and other necessary information shall be taken into account. Reservations can be done by using the central reservation system by any professionals working in the travel and tourism sector. The computerized reservation system store all the information about the flight schedules, price and routes and also contain many other information like weather and travel advisories. It works in line with the global distribution systems. There are various functions which are being performed by using the computerized reservation systems like booking and cancellations of the flights, moderation of the flights, etc. The main features of the system are flight search, the detail of the flights and timings, fares, schedules, etc. can be searched. The second one is registration of the user. It extends the services of the online user registration by which the passenger can book and cancel the tickets online. The third one is flight reservation. The member can book his or her ticket shall be asked to fill up the details and make the appropriate payment in respect of the airline fare by internet banking or credit card or debit card. After making the payment, the passenger shall receive a message containing the PNR number and the e-ticket on the registered email ID or the registered mobile number. The fourth one is flight cancellation. The member can cancel the existing booking. Dear students, let us now summarize what we have discussed in this module. Internet has transformed the airline industry totally. It is very easy now these days to book the tickets online or by using the reservation systems of the airlines. The passengers have an option to compare and choose the tickets as per their choice of price, routes and convenience. To make the reservations, somebody should possess 
the basic knowledge of computers and internet and also must have the awareness of the organizations to plan for the best possible fares. Airline ticket has become the essential component of travel these days. There are following major types of ticket formats like off-premise transitional automated ticket which is abbreviated as OPTAT, automated ticket or the boarding pass, the electronic ticket or the e-ticket. The passengers can usually choose among the various class of tickets like economic class, business class, one-way trip, round trip or child ticket etc. Ticket booking has now become so effortless affair that almost every passenger may book the tickets on their mobile phones and also by using the internet services while sitting in their home. And with these words, I sum up the module. Thank you.